Is this, this thing, thing on? on? J. Cole. Cole. Jermaine. Yeah. Cole World. What did you Cole think? Season. <laughs> um, it was a weird album. It was a weird album. Because I don't think it was anywhere near as close as, I think, my favourite J. Cole album, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Mm. But it was still passable in the grand scheme of rap. Yeah. I probably... Like, there's some songs that I like on there, but there's a lot there that all just... I, the majority of it all just sounds the same. Yeah. I think that there's some songs on here that, like, could have not been on here. Um, and I also think that he... He sounded a lot like other people on this album. Yeah. Like, I think he sounded like Kendrick Lamar a lot. Yep. Songs that, like, Kendrick Lamar would have released and probably would have done a bit better. Um, even the first track, I thought... It was, like, straight out of, like, Eminem's, like, mm. playbook. Like, the way he was going at, like, look at all these people selling, like, 100,000 records, but, like, I could do that. It's yeah. sort of in my sleep sort of thing. Um, but I thought there were some bright moments, but I'll let you go into your first thoughts, and then okay. we'll dive deeper. Well, I do agree with what you said with, like, the grand scheme of rap, because, like, it's not bad, <sighs> Yeah. but for J. Cole, it's bad. Yeah, I'd yeah. say that. Like, it's pretty average. Like, I think yeah. kids or KOD, I think that was pretty bad. Mm. And I think that this would probably be around the same level. Yeah. There's nothing okay. memorable. Like, 2014 Forest Hills Drives, like, you got Tale of Two Cities. Yeah. Slapper. Absolute slapper. Wet Dreams, Fire mm. Squad. Um, or, I forgot about Wet Dreams. Yeah. The whole album of that, that whole album is just really strong and... It's really unique the the style of voice that he is. He's very powerful, mm. and in this, I think he's going for a bit smoother, and that's a bit obvious. But like, I don't know. I just don't think it works as well as um, previous J. This doesn't sound like J. Cole. Yeah, it sounds like a like a new version of J. Cole, but not a better version, unfortunately. That's completely fair. The second half of the album though was pretty good. I like the second half much better than the first half. The yeah. From is it called a hundred mil? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That song was shit, wasn't it? You didn't like that song? No. No wait. No, I'm. That's one of his like. Song. Yeah. One hundred mil and I'm still on the grind. One hundred mil and I'm still on the grind. No, like, I'm over thinking and of, over again. I'm thinking of a different song. I'm thinking <laughs> of. I'm thinking of the climb back. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That's a banger. That is. that is a banger. Yeah, I think the back. So it's twelve tracks. I actually think from Pride is the Devil. Yeah. Down. I can agree um, with that. J. Cole sort of abandoned the um, no features, didn't he? Yeah. I think the features were good on this, actually. I think 21 Savage was good. I thought 21 Savage was okay. I hate... I don't know about that chicken breast line. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All of you chicken, you're breasting me or something like that. Um... Yeah, I see a chicken or your neighbours are breast to me. Oh, uh, is that what he says? Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I thought he was good. I just hate how... It, he always does the onga mm. scrater <laughs> 21 yeah but like it gets so boring I couldn't imagine being a 21 Savage fan listening to a whole album and it's just that <laughs> like it's so annoying but he only did it for like four lines or something like that so it yeah. wasn't that bad Lil Baby I thought was good and I think Lil Baby I didn't like it you didn't like no. it no I think Lil Baby knew he had to bring it because mm. it was J. Cole I think the way they flowed into each other where they sort mm. of like finished the line it sort of went like that and then they went I thought that was pretty good personally yeah. um, I, I liked the the energy that he had but I yeah. didn't like the lyricism or I couldn't really hear what he was much. saying to be fair it was he had it was the flow I will admit yeah the flow was good yeah and it, it brought the energy of the track up as well which yeah. is what it needed but he had one line got my feet up I paid silly bands to have sex on the jet he's got silly bands <laughs> Um, I also thought that the first track, the end of it was like, I don't know, hit or miss. Yeah. It was like, put your hood up. Yeah. Get your click up. <laughs> Killer Cam. Sounded like something like Ludacris would, or, or Lil John would have in their songs. Mm. But, uh, I did the two, I had two favorite lines on this whole album. They were both from the chorus. I can't remember the first one now. I'm, I'm choking up under the pressure I know where he said um, 
like I burst through the ceiling and I'm feeling sublime. Yeah. I think that was really cool. Like, so he was sort of like boxed into what he could be and then he, he went through it and then he kept going and going. And on the climb back when he's like, I thought it was just very visual. And in my mind, I really saw this scenario where it's like, like my friends came and picked me up and now we're about to light the city up. Yeah. Like the sun has the night shift. I thought that was really cool. Like yeah. in my and mind. That sounds cool as yeah, well. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, yeah. Like you're just like going so crazy that like they don't need the sun. Like you're going to. Yeah. You're lighting it up. I thought the lyricism throughout as well was quite corny. Mm. Like he had um, Krispy Kreme dreams. Sometimes my dogs want to kill 12 because mm. yeah, there's a, a dozen donuts. Yeah. That's bad. Oh, yeah. And then he had one that was. um. Oh, something to do with an eye. Oh, here. You'll see how eye flipped like exclamation points. Oh, yeah. Because the eye... That. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. just bad. Yeah, I remember that. That's that's like a, a cheesy M&M bar. M&M would make that sound good, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do agree with how people are saying that it sounds more like a mixtape. Mm, yeah. Because it's like... Yeah, it all sounds the same. He has, yeah. like, contradicting sort of motifs throughout like I've got yeah. a lot of money but money doesn't matter but look at how much money I have yeah I yeah I don't like that either yeah I um, like um, Pride is the Devil I like the idea behind that yeah Pride is the Devil yeah I do and like that and um, hold on me. Envy keeps your pockets empty yeah that was nice yeah he's got some good lines in there I really wish I could remember this line <laughs> that I'm thinking of now in my head yeah I liked um, I didn't really understand clothes Close, sorry. Yeah, I I didn't really like it, it that much. It, I I thought it had some cool ideas, how, but like I didn't, I couldn't follow the characters. Mm. Like his friend is like now, yeah. not his friend, but then he woke up and then his mum texted him that you died. I don't I, I understand that. I thought he was that. talking about two people. I think like he was two different people. No, I think he was. Oh, okay. But then he was like. And then I did like the imagery where he's like, and I looked back at you and like in your eyes I saw hope. Yeah. But I couldn't like save you and then I woke up my heart was pumping. Like, yeah. Like Usain Bolt. And I, that was pretty hard. I woke up and my mum texted me that you just got smoked. Mm. And I'm like, what? is he dead? Is he <laughs> checking his phone in heaven? I don't know what this means. Yeah. Uh, I also didn't get um punch in the clock as well. That was the one where um he was handed a gun. And, and he fired thought it was it. a toy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he fired it off into some like bushes or trees or whatever. And he goes home. He plays it off with his family yeah. like that everything's okay. Yeah. He goes to sleep. He has a nightmare that the cops come and get yeah. him. So like, fair enough. I get that. Yeah. Then he wakes up to a bit of sleep paralysis. There's a, a demon sort of with his hand on him. Yeah. And then he says, I still got the scar on my arm. Right. Like from what? From the demon. But like, they don't leave scars because they're not real. Oh, I I didn't really get that, and yeah. like, to me that event just doesn't seem important enough either. Mm. I really wish I could think of this lyric. God damn it. <laughs> I did like the "Let Go My Hand." I think that was um yeah where his son says like like I'm growing up now. Yeah, like, you need to let go. Yeah, and that one was actually probably my favorite track because it was very honest all throughout. Yeah, and I think that that would be a fear of someone. Like a father or a mother, yeah, and especially happens, someone who's grown up in an area like J. Cole, yeah, and especially with like what, yeah, exactly, like what could potentially happen. And he talks about his that's the song where he talks about like he was scared to go out mm. and everything like that, yeah, and then he was scared of death and stuff like oh. that. So, yeah, that's also the one where he says that he got into a fight with, with Diddy, oh, with Diddy, yeah. yeah, and I did like that Diddy was on the outro, that was nice, yeah. I sort of, yeah, buried the hatchet. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, applying pressure as well. The first bit of that was really nice. But that was the one that had the really fucking long outro. Where he just keeps saying stuff like, you already know what's going on, cold season. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I just, it was just like half I just a minute long. That. I just skipped that stuff. Yeah. I'm looking for this lyric. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> I saw um someone on Reddit. They said that it's not an album for for someone who analyzes things. Yeah, it's, it's an album for people who be thinking a lot. And I completely agree with that. Yeah, I just think, um, like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't J Cole enough for me. I think that's I very. Think that's, I think that's the problem. But it's still, like, a lot better than a lot of things out there. Yeah, 
Did you like the country singer or whatever that was? Wait, when was that? Moray? Oh, yeah. Or whatever, yeah. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> it did help that, like, J. Cole was sort of half on that chorus as well. Did he Did he take shots at um, Genius? Yeah, he did. I don't think that Genius misunderstands what the lyric is saying. I think they misinterpret what the lyric means. Yeah. I think that's what he's saying. Oh, I did like... um. Told him to come up his chain for trying to floss, died over a cross, just mm. like the start of Christianity. Yeah. I thought that was quite hard. I don't think that's at the start of Christianity, though. That's a fair bit later on. That is quite at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it starts with, like, God clapping and making shit. All right. All right. Give it your rating. I went a six and a half out of ten. Yeah, I went for a six. Mm. I was like, it's good, but exactly like you said. It's not J. Cole enough. Mm-hmm. I think that pretty much sums it up very well. Well, be sure to tune in tomorrow for my album review of quite an underground artist. Mm. We'll see you then. That's a wrap.